Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well and having a great day. Just got a casual stream coming up um, for this afternoon. We have the open lobby on Force to Seven coming up later today uh, with myself and Rossi. Um, I thought it just might be about time to actually hit up with trying a bit of um, maybe just a little bit of tuning B-plus cars um, on the game. So I know I've been quite behind when it comes to actually tuning cars. So I am sorry um, for the delayed wait there, but hopefully um, you guys will forgive me for that. And um, you know, we can um, just plow on, and hopefully I can make it up to you guys this way. So instead, uh, what we'll do is I'll just show you my general approach as to how I go tuning cars and that type of thing and um, yeah excel at a rate hello buddy how are you hope you're having a really good day let us know how the hell you're doing it's been quite a while feels like it anyway since uh, last week but yeah hope everything is well all right so what's this car that i've got right here in front of us it is the renault alpine so um one of the cars that I'm hoping to use tonight is something that I have liked a fair bit. A fair bit. Um, and in a nutshell, it was a car that in A class I enjoyed quite a lot uh, back on Forza 6, and I've barely used it um, in this game, so I thought it'd be nice to kind of revolve an old favourite of mine and um, we'll see. If any tracks that it will at least be like half decent at. In A class, you can give it tons of acceleration whereas um, B class you can kind of do the same but there's a massive sacrifice you make um, concerning concerning the grip that you have so I've made a bit of a power build here so we'll see how that goes on Lotus 11 I don't even remember doing a Lotus 11 here so a long time ago um, 151, 52. <laughs> Starchy, uh, who, I don't know man, I, I'm still holding off the dart, it's, I feel like you and D Squared have done a, such a great job with just cornering the market on that car, um, that I don't really want to touch it, I feel like I, I just do the car disservice if I try tuning it, but I'm going to whack out quite a few muscle cars tonight, so hopefully we can have some really good side on action and with each other. Maybe knock our doors a little bit, but hopefully no uh, deathly dives from me <laughs> that result in you getting destroyed. But hope you're doing well, man. Um, interesting to hear that you are in a meeting, so nice to know that <laughs> you are thinking firm on the job. I'm just going to try uh, this Renault Alpine um, around Hockenheim and GP. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out what a half decent time is because Ford Mustang, it just covers the board, doesn't it, right at the top? So I think 150s are a bit unrealistic. Maybe 151s and 152s. They are more of kind of lobby material. We can see an RX-8 here, a silver VRC. So yeah, definitely around the 51, 52 mark. So let's just see how this Renault Alpine holds out. I'll just have to remember that time, 151, 152. And we'll go over to free play. So, um, and as the lobby loads up, I'll give you guys a quick look at uh, the build I've actually gone with this car. I've got one that's got 5.3 handling, and then there's another, which is um, more of, well, I'll show you the stats on it, but it's not looking that good, to be honest, <laughs> if I'm completely honest. Like, it's a bit of a beast in terms of acceleration. I'm really hoping it works out tonight. Um, because off the line, apparently, it can match the dart, apparently, but we'll see what happens. Um, Mr. Rossi, Ross May, hi, hi, pal, how are you doing, buddy? Dart versus Subaru 360, yeah, man. It's going to have to be either you or Rufus that pulls that one out, so <laughs> it'll be pretty funny. That'll be pretty funny stuff. It's crazy, though, because... Both of the cars accelerate like mad out of corners and hairpins, but I get the impression that it's the dart, it's, it's the real daddy. It's the real daddy of obscure cars. It's got the top end speed as well, hasn't it? So, let's load it up. I'll give you a quick look through on my stats. So, 
So yeah, 400 horsepower, which in B class is kind of like the most amount of horsepower you can give this car. So it's only 4.4 handling, um, 8.7 acceleration. So like I said, ton of acceleration, but the speed is actually lacking. So honestly, guys, I, I don't know how it's going to hold up. It may not actually um, drive that greatly. Who knows? But um, we'll see. I have got another build that's a bit more handling orientated. It's about like, uh, I think it's 5.2 or 5.3. So we'll try that. We can give that one a go. And I'll get this live chat appearing, as I should. Just give me one second, guys. I think I need to adjust something on this. Uh, da -da -da, what do I need to do? Just want to try and get some of the stuff out of the way in the live chat panel, because I know it's taking up quite a lot of space. So, don't want you guys missing out on all the lovely all the lovely screen available so let's move this over a bit I think this would be a bit more comfortable for you guys now but thanks Wayne tell me boys how is your day going how is your day going any of you looking forward to uh, the stream later on tonight I certainly am so but yeah we've looked at the stats um, just to give you a quick run through I know you'll be interested Rossi um, so I did actually try every uh, engine swap possible so I went with stock, and the stock one seems to be best if you're going for a bit of handling or the all-rounder. Um, you just put on all of the engine parts, race exhaust, displacement, the whole lot, um, and then you'll get around like 300 horsepower. So that's pretty much the horsepower I have for the all-rounder build. Um, and then there's this one, which the three liter F6, and then you have the turbo rally. To be honest, I'm not, I don't know if there's too much of a difference between these two, if I'm going to be honest, in terms of what's really better as far as um, performance, but I did have one here which I think might be slightly better because um, I haven't, in order to get over 400 horsepower, I've, I think I've sacrificed, I basically have no race bumper, no race spoiler either, so um, yeah, so this could be a bit of a wild one. But we'll see. You give it a good hearty go, around here, so try some laps of it as well, see if there's anything that we need to change. Uh, let's put this up. Let's I'm hoping that this maybe this car could touch 42s. I think 42s would actually be really nice. Um, but I may well have to completely change the build. Um, I might have to revert back to an old one. So we'll see. Going good, walk in the park and a Mackie D's earlier. Jeez, oh, Rossi boy, living the life with the Mackie D's. Loving that. Right, so, let's get ourselves in there. What did you um, have for lunch in the UFC? You can't just tell us it's Mackie D's, you need to give us the whole What's it? Is it a hearty Big Mac or is it a chicken sandwich? What is going on? I just want to warm up the tyres a little bit, get a running man. Just as a mod base. That, I suppose. Something which I always do when I'm testing cars actually. Let's see if something that any of you guys do do already. I would highly recommend you do it. Good free play anyway. It's really hit the miss in terms of the ghosts that you get. So. Apex Grey. And that is too late, we need to break early. Nugget shit box. <laughs> uh, funny stuff. 20 chicken nuggets, that's all we need. Still a bit of This is our first lap road, and I literally have not tried this car a couple of times. I'm so. just going to try all the brake marks and see where it works, where it doesn't. So we can't break at the green patch on the side a little bit before that. Is that early enough? No, that's not. So it might even be the first um, marker, the 150 for it now, looks like it. And maybe a little bit afterwards actually. Oh look at this. See, none of that arrow. 
<laughs> the thing just doesn't want to, doesn't want to turn at all. So this is the price we have to pay because I took especially that front arrow off. Uh, we'll see how it does. So the straight line speed. I'm hoping it can do 160, maybe 165 before it happens. But we'll see. Share them. Uh, I don't believe that. Was it. Not quite convinced that we share them. Now we're breaking, but we're going to have to break earlier. Jeez, oh. Another thing, this car, um, it has sport brakes, not race brakes, and on top of that, um, no aero, no race brakes, stock transmission as well. So <laughs> we've really set this car back, I think. As you can see, this car just does not want to stop whatsoever. So this is what I'm feeling. Um, maybe we can't really get away with it. Full blown power build. And the thing is, the power build doesn't really seem to work in this car in B class either. It's completely different in A, but I think in B it's just not up for grabs at all. Oh my god, see this thing just doesn't want to stop. Just having to rewind and try it a bit earlier and earlier. But this is all this is the way that I typically go about testing cars because I don't want to spend hours and hours and going at it. I'd rather just rewind a few times on many turns if the car is not behaving the way I want to. Um, just so that we can figure out if it's actually the car that's the problem or if it's in this case like we're not getting our braking points in time or something like that. I tried a little clutch with it, but it doesn't seem to be like at all. At all. And it doesn't want to stop yet again. Oh boy. We'll probably end up spending a good few laps just trying to figure out what this car's capable of, but it'll be worth it. I was actually testing this for Watkins Glen, but um I'm thinking because of how little air it has, it wouldn't be a bad idea to try it out more point and shoot track like on the line. That's even if we do this track tonight, we'll see. Probably, we'll probably be visiting Germany, but whether we do Oppenheimer in GP or National. Yeah, these brakes, they are bad. Starchy has given the dart a new livery. Oh, wow. Well. Things are getting spicy. Just not concentrating. So it's definitely after this little bit of checkered paint. We really have to bring this car to the to get an event. I'm not, you think we've dodge start like that thing is a tank <laughs> whereas this one it's just a bit of it is a missile but kind of a brick at the same time which is a bit of a shame because I really love this car but you just see what it's capable of in B class all the tunes that I found they're actually grip points and I thought let's just try and buckle the train and see if we can do something different with it so, what's that our first lap on 154 not good start but now we've got a ghost at least, and we'll see if we can work on parts of them in other areas and if we need to mess around with the tune. But I think the tune is probably already near what we want it to be. It's more so about just straight up whether the build needs changing. So I've spent a fair bit of time experimenting with the build, but as you can see, a different line there, and we've actually made up a lot of time with these things. Well, that's a good question, Stacey. How many of you have seen the new book in the name of the game? To be honest, I can't even remember. A tissue box. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a fun. <laughs> what an 
name to give it as well. I think that was last week that you said that last week. I think so. There we go. So we're making up bits of time. Against that point. It needs to be a bit earlier on the footer, I think, just to try and force the tail a bit more. This is a trap where I've never got this. Like, even with that Lotus 11 time, I honestly do not remember doing it. Um, so I feel like I'm going to take this trap from Premier Zero, but hopefully, you guys, you lovely little girls in the chat, can spur me on so I might do something else decent. So, I've got a very strong feeling this car can do 43, just so about to do 42, or 52. So we're into the 53 there, and look, even our first turn is a bit of a joke. And I think it's the build that's tissue box. <laughs> Hope it doesn't disappoint Starchy. Hope not. We need them liveries to live up to the standards of um, of the Dodge Dart tune as well. So, but Starchy, I'm pretty sure you mentioned you might have like another car or two that you might be bringing out um, tonight. I might be wrong, but we need to give us a bit of warning. Is that the case? Bringing something out of the bag. Brakes are too bad. This is what you get with, I think it's 4.4 handling. Is that what it was? I think it's 4.4, 4.5. That's like shocking handling for a car that's not a speed car. And this isn't a speed car as well, it's like pretty much pure like acceleration. So if this car works tonight, it, I think it will only be off the line, and that's it. Like, there are very few tracks where I think this can actually hold a battle side by side. So. The build. Might even do it with the stream so you guys can see the, uh, the madness in the method as opposed to the expect of the method in the madness. Just, sometimes I really want to do it. Let's rewind that. Uh, actually, a fair bit ahead of the ghost, which was good. We just broke to the seconds 0 to 60, yeah. It's not bad at all for people. <laughs> not bad at all. 100% so good. I think it's definitely helping the car actually um, rotate a little bit soon. Which is good, you do need it. But I don't know if I could get away with this stick and then knock it down because uh, then it sways way too much up. That's a better than 53. Maybe that should come to second gear. I don't know. But still, we're getting a bit closer. Oh, that's a much better turn too. Much better. Look at that. We've got so much time. Oh, and then we blew it <laughs> on turn three. Got too excited, boys. Too excited. Clutch a bit. Oh, no, nice tiny clutch kit. See, it doesn't really work in this car for um, bumping up the revs, but it still helps on the long radius turns. And four stones. Oh my god. Yeah, see, I I'm definitely going to rewind this because I feel, I feel like with that first sector, we could actually be on for 52. But we, we have to figure out the braking point at the end of here. I hate tracks with long braking points, so we'll have to see what we can do. I'm still guessing. I'm still guessing. 
Sometimes I try and use the lorries that are behind the fence on the right hand side. But it So just before the shadow, just before the shadow, we do it. Keep it in third gear. We learn something, boys. Learn something. It's just about if that shadow will be there <laughs> in four hours' time if we're racing. Well, interesting. So definitely 42s on the card. It's just about could we do them consistently? Which I suppose we could. We got the packs in, but still don't know if this field is the one to keep. Open to it. I mean, like a top 20 part of at least one track, but Watkins Glen Fall Ball, it kind of touches, I think it's about like top 30 territory, but it's not really punching top 12 <laughs> I know it's dirty because we're rewinding, but that's just for us to figure out quickly what the potential of the car actually is. As I said, this is the way that I tune because I don't have time to spend hours and hours just lapping and lapping and lapping, like doing 50 laps on the track or something like that, and constantly making adjustments. I need to just quickly figure out if the car can actually hold up corners half decently. Those words, it's just down to my skill level. If that makes sense. We have 52. That's good news. We have 52. I think we might actually save this right now. It would be a good opportunity. Um, so, this is the one that I was on about, um, which is 300 horsepower. I'm pretty sure it's 5.3 handling. Um, so, what was that? It was a. GP. I have downloaded a bunch of tunes earlier today and yesterday, um, muscle cars. But what do you guys think that I should take? I'm trying to take some cars that I haven't really used in previous streams. I'm hope I want to use like an all-rounder NSX today at some point. Um, I think I've got a Chevy Nova, Corvette Stingray, just a few like obscure cars that are not often used. So. Was that 152? It was like 152.6, wasn't it? So, um, okay. I just want to save this now in case we, I do actually end up changing the build, which we might want to do because it would be nice to have <laughs> maybe some proper brakes or just the aero. Ah, let's bring that up. Let's bring that up. The size of this front bumper is, is horrible. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it, guys, I'll be honest. get out of this. I think we'll try, I'll show you the other build that I went for, that was supposed to be a bit more power orientated. And right, so we did have this one, 
Then there's the turbo rally. This is what I don't like about the turbo rally. You see, let's look at that blue line, the torque. The torque just picks up so quickly. It's just a massive dump of power that's like too early in the rev range. But we could try it, guys. It's either that or we keep the same engine and we are effectively not adding any aero. Um, let's see if we can play around a bit and actually get some aero back. Um, we might just have to sacrifice a bit. Oh yeah, this is the other thing with the turbo rally. The only engine parts we have are the restrictor parts, so which you know we can't upgrade them at all. Having no chance. Um, in terms of the POA, it's quite interesting on this car. It, so you see 600 for stock brakes, then 601 street brakes, then back down to 599 for sport brakes, and then back up for race. So this is why I've gone with sport. So um, I think that's just the way it is, no matter however you build the Renault Alpine. So good little trick there. Worth worth noting, boys. Worth noting. What did I do? We don't have race weight reduction. That's how we're able to get more power in. But I do feel like we need a bit more mechanical grip or aero. Um, let's see how big the difference is. So this is the sport front bumper. Stock is that. Uh, race front bumper. Let's just see how high up it goes. So that's that's five pi, and then if we done the race spoiler, the race wing it actually goes down pi. So yeah, I think we'll just try and remove some power. Let's just try one with a bit less power, boys. Um, so I think the rally engine's got to go. But look at that for B class, like 8.6, 8.7 acceleration is <laughs> quite nuts, isn't it? So, um, still quite a lot of power. Um, maybe we put some race brakes in as well, maybe. I don't know. 5.8. Maybe get some better tyres in. But this has already got. Max rear width, which for most B-class cars, if you're putting anything like Excel or Power, that's usually all you need. You don't really need the front width. But look at this stock tyre compound, street tyre compound. Boom! It's <laughs> it's over 50, over 50. It's unbelievable. It's it's not it's not on this. So this is why I've stayed away from trying to do these all-rounder builds. But um, that 5.3 handling does have the street tyre and then it has some width but as I mentioned you really have to sacrifice the amount of horsepower that you have so a bit of a tricky situation I think maybe front tyre width I don't think we need it I think what we really need is making sure we have the aero on and then maybe let's help out the car with bit more grip maybe but obviously we lose out 8.6 we're still so low on the, in the handling department it's insane um, that's the thing I don't like about this car you try and do power or acceleration builds in B class and the handling's just abysmal maybe it's a bit of a lie maybe just a bit of a lie Maybe it does turn a lot better than people think it does, but at least at least you guys can kind of see firsthand the type of things I'm thinking about whenever I try and build. Um, street transmission, stock. We didn't. We, now we're not doing stock because you lose out on that speed for some reason, and we can't. Obviously, we can't change it. So keep it straight. Could put in sport to adjust it. But when I tried it at Watkins Glen, the gear ratios felt fine anyway, like I was only adjusting it by a few clicks, so I don't think it's really worth it in that sense. Um, so we'll keep that as it is. What other things can we do to possibly help out with either the weight or the 
handling stat on this car. 602, see? It doesn't actually move up the handling a lot, but let's take a look at the lateral Gs. This is something I'd pay more attention to, actually, rather than the handling stat nowadays. So, with our current front tyre width, it's 1.08 lateral Gs it can take. And then, with the full, it goes up to 1.09. So, there is an improvement, but do we really need it? I don't think we will, because we've got less power than beforehand. So, and I've got the feeling that if we have less power, maybe we don't, we still don't need the aero as much. But just for fun, we are going to experiment. We will experiment all the same. I think maybe what we should be doing right now is just adding a tiny bit of power. Still keep an element of power in this car. That'd be nice. Because either way, I think if you're not doing a full grip build with the Renault Alpine, what you need to do is just make it really quick off the line. Um, and then where you'll benefit is more so in the very slow corners and the hairpins, where you can accelerate faster than all the other cars. But the problem we're in right now is we literally cannot get... can't even that out as we want to, so maybe we'll look at the tyres instead. There we are, boom, first option. So that takes about 31 pounds off. So we'll take it, we'll take it guys, and we'll see what we can do with it. See what we can do. I won't test this one for ages. Not absolutely ages, but uh, maybe just a few other apps. I also mess around with the Rim size. Sometimes it just helps you guys with the PI, helps you fill out the PI. But if we can get away with bringing this maybe back down, then maybe that's what we need to do. So, still saving weight, 8.6 acceleration, 4.7 handling. So, this is a, it's still a difference, isn't it? Let's see how it compares to this one. It's at 4.4 handling, we've now got 4.7. That could be a substantial difference. Um, do we need to tune much of the car though? That is the question. I think most of it is set up pretty nicely. Rebound stiffness and bump stiffness though guys. No idea what I'm doing with this car. I've just set it like that and I was like fine. It's like at least the car is driving quite consistently. Um, but I think typically for cars in B class I would usually have the rebound got a lot lower and then the bump stiffness a lot higher. But I don't know, Forza's Forza and we don't really have telemetry to accurately tell us where the car is benefiting by having different uh, rebound and bump stiffness. So here's what it is. I don't think we're gonna go with full downforce. We'll just try basically three quarters. Let's put this up to about 150. It's a bit more comfortable for me. And let's give that a go. I've got a sim steering now because I think I can afford it now that we've got a bit of downforce back. Now we've got a bit of it back, just a little bit. Oh, give me one moment, I just realised the chat overlay is not matching up properly, so give me one moment guys, because I see it's actually a little bit cropped to the bottom. We don't want that. We don't want that. Let's uh, change that a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Alright, there we go. That's more like it. But yeah, guys, tell me. What what type of cars do you think you're going to drive tonight? I want to know. I want to know. What are the type of things you guys are going to be driving? We shall begin this momentarily. I've been tempted to do like project cars streams, but it's just... I, 
I don't know if any of you will be interested. Um, so, yeah, not too sure. Not too sure. What's going on here? For some reason, my Xbox app is giving me all sorts of notifications, which is not making sense to me, so sorry about that. Bear with me for one moment. Uh, I really don't understand this Xbox app. I wonder if you guys don't get these issues as well. You know where stuff is broken up into like chats or unread messages and stuff. It's really annoying actually because sometimes they get they get put up in different areas and I just can't see. I can't find the messages that I want to. So uh, chance Lou the brat brat man I think you sent me a message but for some reason I, it's it's not letting me access it so sorry about that oh jeez I'll try later on shopping trolleys and bath tubs okay interesting stuff what type of bath tub can you think of now because when I hear bath, like the only one I'm thinking of is the Zippo uh, Burger. I want to get a bit inspired by you. I, I want to use my um, 250 Cali and probably the uh, Testarossa again. 250 Testarossa. Can't cross that baby down. Um, Make Starch happy by tuning the Dodge Driver. <laughs> I can't. It's what I said earlier. Like I, I, I know I'll never, do, I'll never do that car justice like these screen has. So I'm just not even going to try it. But I did notice quite a few interesting other, um, like, kind of like high-powered muscle cars. So I grabbed a few tunes. As long as I remember that I actually have those cars, then it'll be good for me to try them. I need to open up. B-class machine because every week I'm always just flushing out tunes and then trying to find new ones. So it always gets a little bit exhausting at times. To, uh, just gets a little bit exhausting to keep finding new cars. I think I might need to work on my second Xbox account just to store the tunes on there instead. I don't know. See, you're a little bit open ended there. And what do you mean by trolleys? What trolleys are in B class? We obviously have the Canon monsters like we saw last week, but what trolleys are you on about in B class? That's going to be really curious. I think we're definitely able to break a lot later now. And maybe take the bend faster, I don't know, but let's see if this car can do 152s as well. I think 151s might be out of scope, um, at least whilst we're testing the car. It'd be different if I put the time aside to spend like a good hour or so hot lapping and really learning this track. But I think if we can just quickly get into 152s or something, then I think we know we're going in a good direction with this car. Maybe um, just doing streams when it from now on when it comes to do 
doing tuning guides. Like I, I literally might just do some streams like this where I'm just tuning, and then, I, and then if there's cars that I've already done, I'll just start the stream with them cars, and I walk you through the tunes and everything like that. Um, I don't know if you guys would be up for that because I'm trying to make the individual videos, it just feels quite hard. To be honest, it's very time expensive, and like my work is getting a lot busier now. Um, I've basically booked some time off for like now and next week so I'm going to try and hit at things like Forza and Project Cars quite hard but after that I'm going to have to um, basically really reel back the time that I spend on the game which sucks because coming to race with you guys every week it, it's often been like a highlight for me there is um, I'm still obviously going to do the streams with no Rossi power I expect you people like Starchy and Sora and Takashi, and all the sorts of reefers, all these regulars, Mr. Tab as well. Um, but it just means that I'll, I'm not really going to have time other than the Wednesday evenings to be doing stuff, so I'm hoping I can rack up some content ahead of time. And then we'll see. We shall see. Just tell me if you'd be up for the odd stream. Maybe like morning stream, afternoon stream, where... Uh, we get this not concentrating on it. But yeah, let me know if you want streams where I just go through tunes. It's terrible for me. But for the sake of just trying to find out a good time in this car, we're going to go ahead. Six tenths up, is it? Good thing with this build as well, I think we can get away with just actually using that 150 board as the brake marker more easily. Wow, we lost so much time there, that's mad. be a bit of a monster that you're working on now, see? Question is, will you give us a hint as to what it is? Is it a trolley? Looks like we lost a lot of time with that. Meeting finished, nice. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Starchy, I'm up for that. Some tuning streams, ones where I just jump in the lobbies. Um, yeah, definitely. I think Rossi, if anything, has restored my faith a bit in the public poppers. In manning the floodgates of our class and all the randoms that come along with it. It's, um, it's been really fun to watch it when I've been so far. Um, I think I'd like to possibly do the same, but um, in the lower classes, our class, it's a bit tough for me. Although I really do enjoy trying to learn their cars, especially like Elite Factory Racers, Hypercars Division, really fun stuff. So um, I think I'll practice them on the leaderboards a bit more before trying to actually do our class hobbies, but maybe the lower ones, the ones I'm a bit more comfortable with, especially for tuning like B-class and A-class, so I'll oh, keep that jury note. Thank you for the tip there. I hope your meeting was uh, very productive, at least more productive than <laughs> this tuning attempt right here. Second to last turn, very hard one. I think it involves a lot of trail breaking. Fair bit anyway, so immediately after that apex. Ooh. I think I got a bit too used to the normal steering earlier, so forgive my sloppy driving.
That was a really nice exit, that was good. Also, yeah, this car's definitely, it definitely seems like it's better than the previous build. So a bit of a lighter one. Um, maybe we could do a stream early week tuning a car. Oh, I like that idea actually, because sometimes I like to tune the cars ahead of our open lobbies on Wednesdays as well, so I like that idea, Starchy. Really cool one. I think do um, maybe something on like Monday or Tuesday next week. Do one where we start working on a completely new car for a lobby, and then maybe I'll try it out in the open lobby. And, um, and then even after that, maybe on... I, don't, I definitely don't want to conflict with Rossi's open lobbies, so maybe on a Thursday I can do a stream. Um, where we try it in multiplayer hopper, see how it stacks up against all the regular players because let's be honest, <laughs> our, our lobbies with the likes of uh, Starchy and Sora, Rufus, Mr. Tab, everyone, Platinum as well, um, you guys are just too quick, you're not a good representation of the average Forza driver, so, but yeah, I think it could work pretty well. Still wondering about whether I do any project car stuff, honestly. I just don't. I've done the tuning guides, which is great, and I need to find a way to actually do more content. I find it really hard to enjoy that game. <laughs> you should play what you enjoy, but I also spent considerable money on that game, so hard to try and justify it at this point. But I think of something. At least we're sorted on. Ports of seven. Like this game, yeah, it is a bit old, but we know what we're getting from it, don't we? So, and I still think it's actually a good game. For a game that's three years old, yes, bit broad, not new material, but overall, it's a good game. I've actually been meaning to do a review on it. I wanted to do a review on basically evaluating the game as something that is three years old, and we look at. Has the game actually held up well, considering that there are no more updates for the game? How was it at launch? Because a lot of the reviews we have, we get them on day one. The reviews always feel a bit obscured and quite biased to so the special treatment that the critics get from the developers. And I feel like, from a player's perspective, it's nice to see what people think in terms of if you're a competitive gamer instead of a casual gamer, how does the game actually serve you with, say, like, ranked races or the multiplayer system or even the AI if you do single player? Is it actually a game with any longevity for someone who does like to play competitively? Um, now, you could make the argument that, well, everyone's competitive is why you're a racing game. Sure, and I, I completely accept that as well, but... Once you get to a certain skill level, a lot of the features kind of become void. And I think that's an argument that no one's really brought up before, so... Who knows, maybe tomorrow... Maybe tomorrow we'll just have a bit of a casual stream. I've been in some multiplayer lobbies, and then we look at the fact of how this game's held up for now three years old. So it could be an interesting conversation, and then you guys can always chime in on the chat as well, so... Or we're breaking too late? Right. What are we? No, we're not. We're not interesting. So even with all this yapping, we've managed to get a 52 again, so this car's definitely in a better direction, which is good. Good stuff. Me and D-Squared didn't play 7 for ages, and it's all pretty fresh to us. Um, yeah, that's a good point, Starchy. Um, I'm exactly the same, because I, I didn't buy this game for a year well over a year since when it came out um, so I still feel like I'm not completely burnt out on stuff um, but yeah I, I get what you mean because um, I, I, I don't feel like two years is actually long enough for any game life cycle um, I feel like games should be built to last three to four years and that really comes down to the infrastructure on um, the multiplayer systems, um, especially like the ranked stuff. But anyway, we'll save that stuff for tomorrow. Interesting comment you made there about D-squared making an RS200. Oh, geez. 
You know I've you know I've already got one. And now he <laughs> and now D-Squared's making a board as well. Oh dear. We'll have to we'll have to have some battles start soon, you know it. Once you've got that RS two hundred, it's war. My tune versus D squares. I'm sure his tune will be better. I'm sure it will, but at least we can have some funny racing. Like Coat of West, obviously, the car's really good at. Um, and then being all wheel drive, obviously, tends to like the wet tracks a bit more, but there are still many tracks like Le Mans Bugatti and the Long Beach where it can hold up pretty well against some of the monsters. It's just you're not going to see it really being like top 50 times, but if you're just racing, it's so much fun to drive. So much fun. Maybe it's time to focus a bit more on the actual. Come on now, because that's what you guys are watching. You're trying to see me develop a car. And we haven't hit the 50 ones yet, really, and we. By the looks of it, the car can definitely do it, but maybe it needs a bit more refinement in the tuning of the car. Oh, that could be a choice for tonight, but I'm a bit worried about Rossi saying that he's got a car that can do mid 50. Mid 50, that's some serious like, top 20 time right there. I think. Ooh, easy. Hi, Nicholas. How are you doing, buddy? Same to you, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, if you bought the game only five months ago, yeah, it should still feel really fresh for you. Absolutely. I think it's a bit of undue criticism to say the game is rubbish if you continue to play the game. And that's something that we hear all too often from many people, even top players. If the game's so rubbish, like, why haven't you moved on yet? So keep it relative. Still it down, what's going on? Some cars do prefer a bit of normal steering, maybe we should try that. Maybe. Oh my god Starchy, a new A-Class car as well. Oh wow, and makes the dart look like a mug. Jeez, am I going to have to pull out? <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna have to bring the aerial nomad out once again? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I always feel guilty when I drive that car. <laughs> Going to first gear. Maybe we need first gear. Myself. I don't know, let's see. I might have all of these, um, all of these pro players, all of these elite players at my throat for saying something like that. But I'm just speaking facts, guys. I'm speaking absolute facts. I miss the curve by a bunch of my. Nicholas, that is, um, so that, I suppose that's an accolade I can say with pride, maybe, I don't know, like, but the thing is I don't actively go out of my way to say something that would really upset Turn 10, I suppose, um, you know, like, th there are things I could say, especially about, like, critiquing the game, but I think there's a difference between critiquing a game and then just slating the staff of like a game producer um, and when it comes to like the whole community bands that we've seen recently on like discord and stuff like that 
Um, are the things questionable? Yeah, sure, but to be honest, I don't want to delve into it because I don't follow the people who have been banned, why they've been banned. And sure, there's the stuff about our speculating game dates or release dates. Um, that's just a topic that I'm not even interested in like, at this point. So, yeah, it's, it just doesn't interest me. But, yeah, long story short, haven't been banned. Don't think I will be. Hope I won't be. But, um, do have to be careful in multiplayer lobbies. That's something I thought about. Can't afford to get angry if someone, like, rams me. I can't afford to get revenge on them and crash back or something like that. Which I did used to do in the past, but I think we've all learned that it's dangerous to do that now. Because then someone could just record you doing it and then you look like the villain all along. And you're the one who gets banned, so... Yeah, not worth it guys, not worth it. Just don't retaliate, just drive on and try and enjoy yourself no matter what. I mean, it's our lobby stuff. A bit of argy bargy is fine. <laughs> Just don't follow my example. <laughs> Please don't follow my example. Oh, are we too late? Are we too late? We're definitely too late. Easy, son. We actually broke too early. Look at all that time we lost. Oh my god. This is what I hate about Hockenheim and GP. I, I, I hate long breaking zones. I really hate it. Um, it's just too hit and miss for me. Let's see what you guys have to say. Um, yeah, some small tweaks. I, I think if they could change the, like the, the way that ranking works, I'd probably just play a lot of ranking. Um, to be honest, like, I think that's what I might do for some of the streams, rather than hitting the normal open lobbies. I might just try and keep myself stuck in like that professional or like elite tier of the league racing, because you get you can get plenty of players there, and it's actually pretty fun each week with different divisions being done. I wish there were different divisions. I wish they actually done touring cars there every now and then, but for the most part, it's still pretty fun. So. Yeah, 100% with you, Starchy. They just need to change it up a little bit, and then it could be pretty good. Um, and the collision physics, of course. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised Rossi hasn't banned me yet. Jeez, I, I've, I've racked up such a heavy list. I'm sure he's got an Excel spreadsheet that's just nothing but John, 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 John for like two pages. So. <laughs> New Jello. <laughs> Got over the trauma yet, Starchy? I, I like to think um, you needed therapy for that one. That was <laughs> brutal run off into the sand. Whoa, you see that boy? He's got a bit of lift off on the front. Oh, battery's getting a little bit low. I need to add the uh, We'll see how bad this lap is. Yeah, that apex a bit more. That's probably the best turn we've done there, actually, so far. Could have troweled a bit more on the into this airplane, and now we'll be boxed here next to this is typically why I go with the closer view on this car because it's so squirrely I feel like I really need to catch a new bit of oversteer or whatever. Um, yeah, it feels like it's all over the place. I can't drive it. It wasn't my finest piece of driving. <laughs> well, you, you two had a fantastic battle. I remember that. It was a, an amazing battle. So this can do 50 runs. This, I think this car can do 50 runs, but I, I'm, I'm not good enough at this track. Not good enough. Maybe we've tried that car long enough. 
maybe we have. Right, give me a second guys, I'm literally just going to grab the charger and I will be back in a second. We will load up. Maybe a different car. Tell me in the chat. Should, do you want me to work on another car? Or should we just try this car um, in some hoppers? Don't mind me with the background noise, everyone. <laughs> Okay, and we are back. All right, thanks for waiting, guys. Appreciate it. Now, what do we do? Hopper it, mate. Hopper it. Okay. Captain Starchy is in charge. We're taking it to the hoppers. But what shall we do, boys? Shall we run with the same tune that we have? We'll go with the 5.2. Maybe we can switch between the two, actually. Won't be a bad idea. I think we'll delete this one. Doesn't seem like this tune is the one. I think we found a better one here, to be honest. Uh, save. Um, what shall we name this? What shall we name it, guys? Um, G Zone, mate. There we go. Cornel. <laughs> Starchy. It's got a good ring to it, to be fair. It's got a good ring to it. Right, okay. Let's, let's hit a little bit of B-class. And you guys can just throw me any questions. And I don't know about what load, whether it's the game. We'll definitely try and have more of a conversation. Um, as I'll try and review and address like all my points. That I don't like. Um... But yeah, for now, B class anyway. General Ross. <laughs> you sound like such a World War II military legend. What a what a name that would be, General Ross. Thirteen drivers, not too bad. Not too bad. I suppose we're not actually going to get much more than this. Oh look, Lou's here! How convenient is that? We have got one chance Lou. He is back in action. Although his game attack is slightly different. Not quite Omar Day. See, this is what I mean. I couldn't find this. City Royak. I th I'm hoping that Royak will actually join. I think we should um, give him a little bit of pressure to actually join us. Well, what do you guys think? He should join us for the open lobby later today. That would be a good start. Field Marshal Starchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we would all benefit Starchy if we actually remove some messages of the past. Yeah, I, I definitely would, no doubt about it. <laughs> Just trying to... <sighs> Don't see what's up with this hat, seriously. Oh, see, look, Lou's got a tune, 5.2 handling as well, nice. Wow. Best car, beautiful, beautiful car. <laughs> look at this guy. Omar Day, Omar Day. How you doing, Lou? I see you've got this uh, little Renault as well. Forever. Let, let, let's, 
let's represent the front side gets. We're on some alpines. Oh, where are we at? We're at Lim we're Yas Marina, guys. Can you believe it? Yas Marina. This could be a funny one. Sim steering, though. I think I might regret this. <laughs> brah, brah. Back with the funky builds. Hey, Carver. How are you doing, buddy? Hope you're having a really good day. Same goes to you, Lou. Jason, feel free to come and join. Yeah, just jump on my name or try and find the lobby. Um, just multiplayer hopper, so no biggie there. Right, what was going on with this? What was going on with the Xbox mobile app? Have you guys actually tried it yet? This thing is doing my head in. I'm getting notifications on here instead of on the Xbox, and then I can't see the messages. That's too much. Let's see Jason if you've made it in. Let's see Carver's here. Look at the 5.2 handling. That's good. I need to check up my stats to see if mine's 8.4 acceleration as well. I think it might be. I can't quite remember. <laughs> oh my god, Starchy. <laughs> Look, I appreciate you wanting to throw money at me. Wasn't uh, quite expecting <laughs> in that manner though. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Oh, it felt like this guy had a little bit of a sword. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Oh, getting boxed in. How bad can someone get? <laughs> oh! That hatchback is going nowhere. Too much death. Well, okay. Fair bit. Oh wow, that's actually a big difference on the straight, but I'm sure you can make up a lot through the corners. But yeah, good question starts you in terms of like donations and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna begin it to be because uh, I'm still really flattered that um, someone actually wants to donate, so it does mean a lot, but um, I want to make sure that whenever I do set it up, it will, it'll be good enough where I'd, I'd always want to be able to give a, like, an automatic shout out on the screen to whoever's donated, like, especially like myself, so we might be able to 
it's all the same room in this right, we see. This might be the left, coming into that floor. But yeah, it, it, if, if you really want to uh, donate, then um, you'll definitely look up into seeing what tools I need to set that up on stream. Ooh, dear. Lou and an Alpha Stradali having some issues. <laughs> What's Lou doing? I think Lou's lost the plot. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I think, I think he's on a bit of a rampage now. <laughs> Look how far mine was going. <laughs> that attack angle. That attack angle on the curb. Oh, that is too much. Oh my god, he's wall bouncing like it's Project Gotham Racing. <laughs> oh dear. He's got the cop back on us, thanks to a nice little walking. Let's go. Uh oh! Alright, <laughs> we're going to take the, the uh, alternative entry. We knew he was going there. <laughs> Oh, this is getting feisty. Rossi, you might want to have a look at this. Whoa! Oh, what's that for? Speed Daddy. Whoa! You see that ram up there? You see that ram? From Speed Daddy. What the hell is going on? This guy definitely needs works. I don't think he should be banned, but he should definitely be. <laughs> Maybe suspended for half an hour or something. That's not good. But we're not going around that. I'll just set a poor example. <laughs> Lou tried it and pretty much missed. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't think um, we're going to beat him at the line. I mean, we technically rammed him like, after the race was finished, so it was the AI's fault, it wasn't mine. Look at Carver, 106 in the BMW 507. The man is not messing around. Not messing around. The guy in second is treating track limits as my suggestions. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it was a bit mental there, wasn't it, guys? Like, that's not what we were after. Don't quite understand what you mean there, Jason. Uh, been in the lobby, real fun lately. Rammer all day long. I hope you haven't been the rammer all day long. That's that's never good. Uh, that could definitely get you in trouble. We need to find out what car Rossi has done a 150 in at uh, Hockenheim. I, I I like to think it's a muscle. It's either a muscle car or like a maybe a 50s car that he's put like maximum horsepower into. He has life, yeah. I, I don't know if we had a life going on. Wow. It was a bit hard. Speed Daddy, yeah. Speed Daddy definitely nice liked you. He, he was definitely liking you. So is this a new tag from you? Is this a new gamer tag, Luke? If so, I'll add it. I tried to find your message um, and then it wasn't appearing. Just let me know if it's a I mean, if you've been ramming like that, then I wouldn't be surprised if your account got banned. Oh, I think we'll go on normal steering for this one because I think the, carn a lot of the carnage is going to happen in the last two turns, which is always a good one. It's a Lotus. Is it a Lotus 11? It'd be awesome if it's a Lotus 11. I think that's what I put around there. So 
Still trying to figure out this Xbox app, guys. It's like doing my head in. Some of you guys need to try the mobile app and see if you, if you've got a way where you can find. The messages that are also like unread. Someone's got a full Mustang, 15 edition. Let's see what harvest the cargo it is in there. Suffered a little disconnect there, guys. Sorry about that. Let me know. Let me know if I'm back. Gonna pull over. I hope I'm back. I'm a bit scared there. My OPS disconnected. Oh, we've got death there. Three people there. Look at Lou and, Lou and Speed Daddy. They're married. They are thoughts are married. Thoughts are married. Thoughts are blue. It's all good. Definitely gonna make up some ground on that very straight army. I think we could fight for a podium in this race. Do we need second gear? We'll try out on this lap. There we go, let's get the wrong boys. Let's get to the road. Dai dai, vai via lo spazio del cazzo. Qui si felice. See, I, I knew this guy was going to do it. Like, I knew he's going to try undercutting, and then if I'm in the way, he's just going to push me. He's going to do it again. But we're going to press the guys. I'm not going to let him bully his way around us. We have to defend the honor of the Alpine. The Alpine is too good. Where's Kyle? Kyle is gone in the distance. Oh, we went very deep, so did everyone else. Time for the power. Let's see where the power's been doing. Kind of like right at the end, so I think we can get away with just red light. Ross, you're definitely that savage. 3 4 I know you're going to run it around every track tonight. Every track. This guy's space, I'm not a turn to give him space. We'll let him go actually. Lost the point. Carver's already gone. Give him space, give him space. We'll try the undercut. Look at Carver, I see that little dot up ahead. <laughs> Carver is flying in the HSP. Oh, yeah, I don't like the 340 either. I think the one track I've tried it around was Brands Hatch. Um, that's the only track I've tried it around on. I just don't like the car. I don't even like the way it drives. And of course the way it looks is just... I don't know, to me it's horrible. So I wonder what the world is this year to take them the city. It's getting its age, I'm going to release. Alright, 
I'd like to imagine you took like the 05 at least. That's a car that's not so widely known as strong. And it's not considered OP. It's not quite me, especially. RX7 up ahead is about to get lapped. And that blue move, the blue move for us. Good thing Forza has actually ghosted. Ghost is back mark, isn't it? That's a good thing. Obviously, mate, you've got us on the right guessing game. This is some fun stuff. What Lotus is he taking? I do think it's an Elise. I think it's one of these screws. Here we go, finally. Oh, we're up 310, so we have to make most of this. Can we get into the 102s? Sorry, not 102s, but whatever it is, the next second. Heavy car, oh, man. disgraceful stuff, John. Ban worthy. How long should I get banned for that cup, guys? How long? Carver up ahead, he's done the old spin around the donut. Just showing off. Showing off, man, too strong. Too strong, man. GG's to Carver, GG's. Choices. Oh, yeah. See, this this is a thing. Pack my biscuit. The track choices, guys. What what is going on? Virginia Grand East. But who wants East for God's sake? It's a stupid track to have in multiplayer hoppers. I'll tell you what, Rossi, I think we're gonna have to do Hockenheim GP now tonight thanks to you just so we can figure out what lotus you have got how many lotuses are there that's that's another thing entirely how many lotuses This isn't so bad actually, but a bit of rain, this could be dangerous. Should we keep it in um, the power build guys? Are we keeping power or are we going for the grip? Oh, Ryuk is going to join us tonight guys. some FCT boys join us once again in B class, they, they love that class and we had a really fun time last month when we had them along so rocking the forward wheel drive cars Starchy, yeah, you're definitely on to it, it's definitely a trick question oh yeah Lotus Cortina, I've got a Cortina actually I've got one that's um, 5.0 handling and 8.5 acceleration. Bit of a monster, I think. That, that it could be around there. It could be the old container. Lou absolutely feeding it to the Stradale. Cortina in B class in Forza 6 was, yeah, it was, um, 
it was a menace, absolute menace. So you needed traction control for that car. Um, I don't think you kind of need it now. Cool car, though. Let's run away. Let's have a run the battle. But Rossi behind us as well. And even just thinking of Rossi has put us into the dirt. That is the effect of this. Too fast, too long. Actually, I think it is pretty much down to that um, rally engine, so it was, I don't think it's a leaderboard car anyway now, but it's good, it is still good. Definitely worth an appearance in the open like this. I, was, I, I literally got a tune for that car earlier today, I was like, yeah, that would be a good one at some track. But if Rossi's already bagged it for me, like, maybe I'll save my one for a different track.
201. Does it hold up? Not against the mighty wall of Rossi in that Ford Coupe with a 159. Astonishing time. Astonishing. See, now it's got more VIR. Why are we having more VIR, guys? Sorry to hear about this Intwitch carver. The question is, where did you do it? I saw some dust at turn one. <laughs> Silly. Hey Manny, <laughs> how's it going buddy? How is it going? Hope you're having a mighty good day. Hope you're ready for some B-class action in the open lobby later today as well. Just been testing this old Renault Alpine. Yes, open lobby is still happening. Um, pretty much in three hours from now. Three hours from now we'll begin. Carver, the dust at turn one was because I missed my breaking point. I died in the S's though. Oh, right, okay. Wow. Rossi with the win. One chance Lou with the Brat Brat in second. We were trailing back in fifth. So not great, but we'll take it. We'll take it, guys. Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch. I think we might change the car for this one. Put some popcorn caps on. Na, 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 na. Oh, think quickly, think quickly. Don't I have a Buick? Look at this Buick. 5 0 handle. Let's see how it does. Never tried this car before. It looks like it's a monster. <laughs> to be honest, anything that Rossi takes, we have to blink our eyes a couple of times because things could get pretty foisty. Okay, let's go, boys, let's go. I'm driving the vehicle, please. So I don't let it down. Ooh, look at the speed there. Jeez.
there's some fighting words there, mate. I'm liking it, mate. <laughs> Really starts with these things have some good battles from time to time as well, right? What is that? Ooh, what the hell happened there? Car bottomed out, massive. This car's a bit of a tank, I have to say. I'm not to battle for all of you. She's on the move though, so we can't hold up. Who's the hell about this thing? I see Cogliano. What is this guy on about? <laughs> Can you guys hear what this guy's saying? I cannot understand a single word. So if we've got the straight line on this here, we have just about a couple of car limbs away. And he makes it up in the turn, so we need to instill our inner star chip. Tissue box 2.0. <laughs> Space on the exit. This is where it's getting dangerous for us. Yeah, I think he's going. Cut him off. <laughs> and you cut, you know, keep it closed on the right hand side as well. I think this is actually a really great track to learn the basics of attacking and defending. What is this guy doing? Oh my god. What is he doing? He literally swerved. That was ridiculous. We're going to have to wait up for Rossi now. We'll just let him go. I don't want to fight this guy. We don't want any dramas.
space on the inside, maybe. Ooh, he does. <laughs> Good race. Good race. Look at that. One chance to lose the win. Sweet stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, GG's, Walter. GG's. I can't believe that Stradali uh, swerved around on, on the home straight there. We were having such a good race. I wish we could have kept it up. But that was, that was really fun. Decent times from everyone, actually. Pretty competitive. 50s, 51s, 52s. Carver sticking in the mix between us as well. well That's fun. Hopefully, we have more stuff like this. Um, let's have more stuff like this later on today. Right, I think I'll be on for pretty much the last race, um, and then I'll close this stream because we ran on for a while. We ran on for a while. Finish this up, and then we'll just get on with the open lobby later on today, guys. So. Maybe I'll pull the uh, Buick back out. Um, definitely the Renault. Rossi with the Cortina. I might do Cortina as well. <laughs> Maybe we should make a Cortina party, guys. Maybe we should. <laughs> Lou, relentless. Hell yeah, mate. Hell yeah. You're too good, buddy. Too good. Hardcore as well. No assists. We know. We know you don't mess around. I'm loving this fight and talking in the chat, guys. This is really fun. <laughs> Rossi, you are right, though. That, that Stradali, what a melon. <laughs> what a melon. Uh, I think we'll go back to the Renault for this final race. Just to bring it all 360, full circle. Although this will probably be a bad idea. Lou in the E-Tire, oh wow. That's looking like a power build to me, look at that. So we have 8.6 acceleration, he has 8.5. He's got more speed though. Carver in the RX-7. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is a car I need to get into B-Class actually, because I much prefer this car in B-Class than A. I think it's way more fun. Rossi with the Milano. I can't even see what the Milano is. Oh dear. Oh, we've got KC33 here. Sweet. Good to see you in the lobby. You may have been in the last race as well, actually. Sorry if I missed you. Let's enjoy the final race of the afternoon before the evening hit. The lobby is definitely a bit laggy. Hey Dave, um, yeah I'm good, pretty good, um, hand is a bit better, but um, it still leaves me really tired, I don't, I don't know if this is the thing that's made me feel tired all the time, but I'm definitely struggling in one way, but I've got enough energy for tonight, so other videos not so sure about, sorry Rosalie, I'm going to break up, let me come back on, take me inside out.
Making so much ground. That RX7 is looking really quick. Cool. Too deep. We've gone too deep. We were following. We were following Carver. Following his breaking point. Big error. And we're back in the corners of the road. That was a good race, that was a good race. does look pretty fun. Um, I think I might need to grab a tune like that um, for later on tonight, Carver. That looks really, really fun, but yeah, it's been really, really good stuff. Hope you guys are up for a bit of the open lobby later on today with Rossi and myself. So it'll be pretty much starting in less than three hours from now. So do just keep on tuned. If you're not subscribed already and you're watching this channel, just subscribe and that way you'll get notification of when the stream ends or when it begins, sorry. And the same thing for Rossi's Twitch channel, so do jump over on his side. But um, I'm gonna wrap it up there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching me fail and sometimes succeed in this Renault Alpine. I think we've got some two tunes, which are pretty good. Um, but yeah, Carver, definitely upload this tune so I can try it out later tonight. And um, yeah, Manny, three hours to rest in peace on the dark. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing some battles, man. I'm bringing out the muscle cars as well. So <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. See you in a few hours. Catch you later, boys.